all right my people welcome back thanks so much for subscribing to this channel thanks so much for being there all the way okay oh my people this is another one reaching us right now hmm under this professor banji akintoye and uh, professor wale adenera saying strong message to all yoruba nation agitators <laughs> well my brother my sister we already understand what is actually going on in the yoruba nation terrain as we know all know what is happening the fulani killer s men are preparing very you no know, i don't know how I, i'm going to use that word energetically they are you no know, so much ready to attack the yoruba nation agitator simply because they have seen that this set of people uh, are almost there to you know get yoruba nation actualized and uh, right now hmm, professor banji akintoye and uh, professor wale adeniron hmm, both professors had uh, no reason together and uh, they were able to release these words in fact my brother i think everybody needs to you know wake up and then uh, you know, understand what is going on because they both said a lot of things which i will be paraphrasing well According to Professor Banji Akintoye, he says in Yoruba, and I'm going to read in Yoruba, then I'll translate in English. According to him, he says, Ati Barawasile. Okay. Ati Kolati Barawasile ti Somole. Meaning, the time for us to be free is very near. Along to Tuasile, meaning God has no released us to go our separate ways hmm. well don't let anyone scare you hmm. don't let anyone scare you according to what he said fear no one and then why did uh, professor banji akintoye say all this simply because you no, know, there have been a lot of rumors going around that the fulanis are everywhere to attack the yoruba nation agitators most especially on that day that the rally will be holding no, we heard a lot of things that on that day most of the people that would be on ground that day that they would pretend you no know, they will even wear the soldier uniforms that nigerian army uniform on that day that I don't think those people are nigerian army but according to what the fulani people have been passing and the all that that those people that will be out that day dressed in army uniform that they are all fulani people so any yoruba nation agitator who is not strong should not even try to say want to come out and at this time around professor banji akintoye is now making us to understand that fear no one fear not they don't know they don't know what they are talking about do they think the yoruba people themselves are cowards that they will just open their eyes and they allow them to just go like that or do all sort of things to the people and the people will relent and according to professor banji akintoye he has said that let every man in the in the house let every man in the society let every man in the community when we talk about men no, he talk, he, Professor Akinto, you're talking about men. He's talking about that there are some set of people who are learned. They are well-to-do. They are rich in their community. That let all these people come out together and then you know, call out all the youth in the community, in their environment, in their vicinity, that seal this is no longer a joke this and this is what we are to do we should not open our eyes and allow these people to come in and then attack us and go like that that they must not win us because this is our land professor banji akitoyo was able to talk about that meaning every youth in that community should be prepared to you know, face these people that you should not allow them to go freely or to attack us like that we should not give them that god and then according to professor banji akintori he was also able to talk about the fact that if you call yourself a big man in the community and believe that oh you are a big man nothing will happen that full learning 
does not know either you are a big man or you are a small man or you are a rich man or you are a poor man that all they are into is to attack and destroy they don't even care about any any level to which you belong therefore you as a as a no elder state man <laughs> let me use that permit me to use that word you as a as a bomb as baba saleh in a community and then uh, with all these things that the fulani have been trying to perpetrate you people should build up the youth in that community to be ready prepared to face these fulani people that's one of the things Professor Banji Akintoye actually said. Well, and then according to him, that the Fulani belief they own everywhere. Hmm. That, is, that is their belief, that everything belongs to them. Everything belongs to them, and because of that, they have to you know, take over everything. And then, therefore, because this side of Fulani, we already know that they don't even have a place of their own they are always walking in the bushes they are always you no know, roaming around because they have not even built anything at all before now they have not done anything for themselves they don't even have a place they can call home apart from the forest so now they believe that the land that the Yoruba people are occupying, according to what their forefather Utman Danfodio told them, they believe that land, this Yoruba land, belongs to them. So this time around, they said they are coming to destroy anyone. That every Yoruba person living in Nigeria, be you big or small, should be prepared to you no know, face these people and uh, how do you do that that's what he said earlier that all the other statement you have the money you are rich try as much as possible to you no know, gather your people together so that they will be able to face these people hmm. talking about the full honey right now I borrow a sophomore more luabi to bad in a rental. All right, and then no, he said a lot of things about that. Meanwhile, according to Professor Banji Akinto, he said something that is you no know, very, very touching and catchy. On to this one, he said, as far as the full and people are concerned, that these people they have been saying it you no know, all the time that. As far as every land is concerned, that nobody owns any land, that every land you are seeing on the surface of the earth belongs to God, that God owns the land. So nobody should not come to say they own the land. That you should, we should forget it. According to Professor Ben Jackinto, he narrated a story whereby you know there was a time the full name attacked some yoruba people in their land that was a long time ago and then they went there to support and uh, to to calm the whole issue down after they were there they went there to settle yes they went there to settle the dispute and all that then after everything that the only thing this full animal said that he will not forget till today was that this woman animal said fine he has accepted that no more quarry but one thing is that this you yoruba people should understand that god owns the land that this land does not belong to anyone though god must have given it or uh, some time ago to your forefathers they must have known inherit it some time ago but this time around it can still be passed to another generation it can also still be passed to another region at least your father you people have enjoyed those land enough so this time around we too we can still say we want to enjoy that land so as far as it stands the land does not belong to only the Yoruba people. In fact, it does not belong to anyone according to what this Fulani man said. He said since then, 
he had it in mind that the only solution to this is for us the yoruba people to separate that's the only thing that can help that's why he has been on the issue of separating from nigeria we can no longer be together and exactly what is happening right now so meanwhile according to professor banjakito if you can reason very well on this aspect you understand that the full animal is not ready to leave yoruba land for the yoruba people and then for the yoruba people not to lose or to lost that land their piece of land to the full and they have to wake up yes this is not the time to be quarreling with each other no 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 no. we don't have that time that is not the time to be saying oh this one is this this one is bad no we must not be distracted according to professor banji akinto we must not the be distracted this is the time to face it squarely this is the time to work together as one as uh, brothers and sisters to be able to achieve our goal or else it might be disastrous hmm. well my people many things though were said unto this and then according to professor wale adeniro i'm just going to paraphrase what he said in a nutshell according to him he said well professor banjakito has said a lot the truth of the matter is yoruba people have to wake up we have to wake up that the way the yorubas are being treated is not the way things are supposed to be done at all yes and then it said it talked about the fact that every yoruba person needs to be be vigilant yes and then he said this period is not a time to keep malice with each other let's stand like a man what we have they don't have that the fulani don't have what the yoruba people have so now the yoruba people need to stand like a man because this land belongs to the yoruba people it must not be taken away from us and then i think they both said almost the same thing and then what else can we say about this the truth of the matter is the yoruba people have not relented in their effort and then i think i have to give kudos to these people yes because you know they have been on it and then they are still on the matter that there's no going back and then we have seen a lot of you know things that this youth most especially the youth have put in place <laughs> well and then exactly what it is yoruba nation no going back and then that's exactly what it is onto this one what more can we say meanwhile let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless